Now we will discuss measuring effective factors. The Myers-Briggs test leads us to probe issues that basically surround the measurement of effective factors. So this particular test, which is MBT, now this test actually enables us to look at or explore the issues which actually surround the kind of measurement that this particular test follows. Some effective factors can be reliably measured by means of indirect measures or by formal interviews. So, effective factors can be reliably measured by indirect as well as formal interviews, but we have to see what are the other factors that actually surround these processes. We have already discussed the personality characteristics, but now we will focus on basically the tests and their surrounding factors. Most tests of the effective factors that have been paper and pencil based self rating tests. Now these tests present three problems. One is the problem of validity, another is self flattery syndrome and then culturally ethnocentric. The most important issue in measuring effectivity is the problem of validity. Because most tests use a self-training method, one can ask whether or not self-perceptions are accurate. External assessments that involve interview observations, indirect measures and multiple methods have been shown to be more accurate. So, wherever there is self-rating method, one's own self-perception comes in and the element of bias is observed which affects the validity. Paper and pencil self-rating may be valid if number one, the test have been widely validated previously and second, we do not rely on one instrument or method to identify a level of effectivity. The second problem is re related to basically self-flattery syndrome. In general, tests taker will try to perceive right answer to question that is answer what makes him or her look good or that do not actually damage what they want to elicit from the learner. Now even though test directions say there are no right or wrong answers, so basically in this kind of situation where you have self flattered syndrome Perception of self are likely to be considered bias towards what the test taker perceives as highly desirable personality time. So basically, self perception and also biasness is something which affects this kind of testing. Then finally, we have culturally ethnocentric stage tests of extroversion anxiety, motivation and other factors can be quite culturally ethnocentric using concepts and references that are difficult to interpret cross-culturally. So all these aspects which are tests of extroversion, anxiety, motivation. So basically it's difficult to test them as their interpretation lies heavily on the cross-cultural aspects of testing. So we saw measuring the effective factors, paper and pencil tests are required. They include validity, self flattery syndrome and culturally ethnocentric factors which cause problem and they are the surrounding factors which interfere in the measuring of effective factors.